Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can set up Android SDK and NDK for Unreal Engine. This has changed a bit over the last couple of months, so hopefully we'll get this to work and be able to jump right into developing for the Oculus Quest or mobile. And the first thing we need to do is actually download and install Android Studio. Normally they use the link, but for some reason it's not working, just opening the image for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search this on Google. All of the web pages that I use in here, I'm going to link in the description just so it's easy for you guys to find. So I'm going to search Android Studio 3.53. I'm going to search for that and that'll bring us to Android Studio Download Archives. I'm going to open that up and in here we need to accept, we need to agree to the terms. Don't need to sign in or anything, but we're going to scroll down till we find 353. Excellent. So we've got that here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Windows 64 bit for my machine. So if you're using 32 bit, chances are you're not. So I'd recommend just going for the 64 bit. From what I understand, there's some complications and some stuff you need to change when using the Mac version. If you do need help with that, I highly recommend jumping over to the Discord as I know there's people over there who can help with it. But since I'm on Windows, it's not really. Not really the thing for me as I don't really know how to do it. So I'm going to download, not the Mac version, 64 bit. I'm just going to hit download. And then once it's done, we'll jump right in. Excellent. So we downloaded Android Studio. I'm just going to double click it so we can extract all the files. And then we're going to actually change the location. I'm going to put mine in C drive where Unreal is. I'm not too sure if we need to do this, but I'd recommend doing it just as a precaution. Every time I extract it to the downloads, it hasn't really worked. So I'm just going to do extract, extract, and then wait for this to finish. Excellent. So we've got that installed. It's now open in our C drive or the drive where you're engine in. I'm going to bin. And then if we scroll down, we've got Studio 64. Just need to launch this. So we've got nothing. If you have something here, just hit do not import. I'm going to hit OK. So it's asking if I want to and plugin updates Android. So I'm not going to update it. I'm just going to close that. I'm going to hit next. Standard. Darkula. And then next. You can use light, so just use what you prefer. Hit next. You can see here it's going to install the necessary SDKs that we need to begin with. It's going to install it in my Android or app data, local Android. I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to let that do its thing. I think this will pop up with a command prompt. So for like a Windows, just hit OK. And then after this, we'll need to restart the engine. So I'll come back once we're at that point. Sweet. So the download's finished. We've got Android SDK is up to date. It's all in the correct place. What we're going to do is hit. OK, so it seems like we've got an error, or at least I have, related to my BIOS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the fix for this, which I think is virtualization. If I'm right, I need to enable virtualization on my motherboard. So what I'll do is I'll link, I'll leave a link in the description of a page. I think this one. Yep. Which explains how to enable this on your machine or your motherboard type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cancel this. I'll end up redoing it. So if I do finish, we've got that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall all of this again. And I'm going to do that by going to, I can leave it in studio. But what I need to do is go to users, Jonathan, Android, and delete that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my machine. I'm going to come straight and I'm going to go to Android. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go into my app data, local, Android and I'm going to delete this as well and we'll just do a reinstall after I've oh Does it let me do it Yep, cool. So let me uninstall from here and Android nope Okay, so I need to restart my machine, but I'm going to delete both of these so that's just C C drive users your name and then Android and Android studio I'm going to delete both of them and the app data, local, and then Android from here as well. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll reboot again, 
and I'll sort out my visualization. I'll record it on my phone so the quality will be absolutely horrific. But we'll see what it's like and we'll hopefully we'll be able to do a fresh install and hopefully this time we'll be able to get it to work. Awesome, so I've restarted my machine. We're going to delete them files now. So I'm just going to go to C, Users, Jonathan, Android, Android Studio 3.5. going to delete both of those. And then in App Data, Local, did I already do this one? Yep. Excellent, so we have no Android stuff there. I'm going to close it down and I'll jump over to my phone and we'll go through the BIOS on my machine just so you've got an idea of what it is we need to Excellent, so I'm back. Just restart the computer after chain, after switching over my bio settings to visualization. So hopefully now we can actually do this again and hopefully it works. So go back to my C drive where my Android Studio is. Still got it here, so I'm going to bin, reload it. Because we deleted the other folders before we actually changed the bio settings, this should actually boot back up as restarting the whole thing. Yes, so do not import settings. Then I'm going to go ignore. Next, standard dark cooler. We've already done this. Go straight through and we're going to hit finish. Hopefully this time <laughs> we don't get any errors. Excellent, so that looks like it's worked this time. So we've got Intel HAXM updated successfully. I'm going to hit finish. So if you're following along to this point and you're following along to the Unreal documentation as well, which I'll bring over, you'll see that what it says to do is actually open up an Android batch file or set up android.batch file, which is included in Unreal Engine 4.25. However, if I do this, I don't seem to get an I seem to get an error which doesn't allow me to do it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Engine and then extras android set up android.bat and you see here i get error the system was unable to find specific registry key or value i'm not sure what's causing this and i've looked at some fixes and stuff like that and it's still not working if this works for you excellent go ahead and keep doing it you just hit yes or put y and then enter and that should start downloading the ndk r21b script or files that's needed for this. But because mine's not working, I'm just gonna show you how to do that using the Android Studio, which we've got. So with Android Studio open, if you closed it, you can just get it back up by going to bin, launch in Studio 64 again. In configuration, I'm gonna to go to SDK Manager. In here, we're gonna switch over to SDK Tools and show package details. You can see here, we can get to our NDK, which is what we're after. And for the documentation, they have it here as NDK 21.1. So it's ending in 2462. So we're gonna have a look here, 2462, 21, yep. So with that selected, we're then gonna hit apply. And it's gonna say it's gonna install the following components. We're gonna hit okay. With this selected, we're just gonna hit accept, just terms and conditions. And then we're gonna go next. And now we just need to wait for this to download and install. So now we should be one step closer once it's finished. And once it's done, I'll come back and we'll do the next part. Awesome. So we're another step closer. So what we're going to do now is we've done that. I'm going to hit finish. Going to hit OK. Going to close Android Studio. I, what I would recommend doing is doing another restart just to make sure everything's in the right place and the computer and Unreal knows where everything is and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to do that. I'm going to hit restart, Windows power, restart, and then we'll jump back in and make our way over to Unreal. So I've lost track now of how many restarts I've actually done, but I'm going to launch 4.25. I'm using source version, but I've got a short desktop shortcut here. If you want to see how to do this, I'll leave a link in the video. It'll be on one of the corners up here somewhere. I'll just show you how to do that. So I'm going to launch this 
and then if you want to do the same thing launch a project I'd recommend virtual reality project or template because we're going to do a build to the headset to hopefully see if this works but for now I'm just going to load it up so I've already got a test build project first one that I created for this motion controller I'm just going to rush through this little setup for the project settings just so we've got something to build to packaging all looks good this must include group only maps um, yeah. if you watch my previous version for setting up 4.24 I'm basically just going through the same settings I used for that to build to the headset Quest, remove signature files. I do ARM64, Vulkan. Oh, and I have Vulkan desktop. Sweet. Cool. Not too sure what to set these to. I used to set these to 25 on the old version of 4.24 so I'll do the same for this and we'll see if that works but what we need to do is to set up our Android SDKs already tried to do this I'm going to remove them so I'm going to do is I'm going to, we need to now find and point Unreal to our SDKs this would have been done manually if the bat file worked or the batch file worked but because it didn't, we're going to have to just select them manually. So just hit the dots. We're going to go to our C drive. See here, we're looking for Android SDK. Going to open up our, first you need to go to program files. And then I believe it's app data. I'm completely lost now. So users, Jonathan, or at least whatever yours is. And then we're going to be looking for app data. Gonna go to local and then here we're going to search for android and we're going to select our sdk we're then going to do the same thing for our ndk so in here we've got ndk and then we'll just select that one actually we can go in and select 2.1 and then for our location of java the director usually contains jdk i don't think this one does so what i'm going to do is going to go into our thing this time we need to go back to our drive. Going to go to program files. And then in here, we're looking for Android. Nope. Sorry. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our Android Studio, then find our JRE folder. And then we're going to select this. Don't think we need this one. We're just going to use the first one select the folder and then if I'm correct this should be all we need to do I'm going to close this going to go to launch make sure our support platform for Android is enabled and then I'm going to boot up my oculus quest headset and we'll do a build excellent so my headset's on I haven't restarted the engine so I can't play in VR but I'm going to drop down you can see I've got quest is showing I'm going to project launcher in here. I'm going to select my quest, go by the book and I'm going to hit launch. So while actually building the project to the headset, I've actually been showing this Windows security alert for our open JDK platform, which is actually been installed by Unreal itself. So I'm just going to hit allow access and let it carry on doing its thing. So I've just been leaving it to do its thing and it's came up with another Defenders firewall thing, so I'm just going to hit allow access to this one as well. So I'm not going to show my quest display because it's just a tem demo scene, but as you can see, it actually finally worked. So we, we got this to work. For me, this take this has taken about two weeks to figure out, just from file locations where you should put it, and I'm really really grateful to my Discord channel. There's some guys over there who have been really crucial in getting this to work. So 
now that I've got this to work and it's out there, I'd love to see what you guys have been able to do with it, especially project wise. And if you could jump over to the discord and just throw some love at everyone, it would be incredible, especially with what we've been doing. And yeah, if you're new here, like subscribe and press the little notification bell for when I get videos up. I try to do them as regular as possible, but with work, it seems a bit, a little bit tough to get around that sometimes, but they'll still be coming. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.